Good afternoon. Welcome to Church of the Ascension on this, the 17th Sunday in Ordinary Time and Ascension's First Holy Communion Mass. We are united today, both in person and with our online family. A few announcements. For those present, as per diocesan and CDC guidelines, it is respectively requested that you do not sing while attending the Mass in person. Please use social distancing, that is six feet between persons, and wear your facial mask covering your nose and mouth completely. Today's Mass is being streamed live. For our online assembly, you can find the song sheet for today's Mass in our worship guide on the resource page of our website, and from home, you can sing along. Please rise. Good afternoon. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Dear friends, we are gathered here to thank God for the gift of life, but in a very special way for the gift of our children who have said yes in the presence of Christ, but in a very special way for the preparation of the receiving for the first Holy Communion. We are praying for them so that when they receive the Holy Communion today, they will be transformed in their journey of life. We are praying for them so that they may continue to be faithful, to say yes to Jesus in their journey of life. And we, together with the parents, we are excited to see our children, they begin a new journey, a new journey of the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ. Coming together as God's family, let us acknowledge our sins and ask for God's love and mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life.
Let us pray. O oh God, protector of those who hope in you, without whom nothing has firm foundation, nothing is holy, bestow in abundance your mercy upon us and grant that with you as our ruler and guide, we may use the good things that pass in such a way as to hold fast even now to those that ever endure. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. One night at Gibeon, God appeared to Solomon in a dream and said, Ask me for anything you want. Solomon answered, My Lord and God, I am your servant. You have made me king in place of my father David. But I don't know any more about being king than a child would know. And I must serve your chosen people, even though they are a great nation with more people than can be counted. Please make me wise enough to rule them well and know the difference between right and wrong. No one is really able to rule this great nation of yours. The Lord was pleased that Solomon had asked this, and he said, I will answer your prayer. You will be wise and know more than anyone who has ever lived or ever will live. You didn't ask to live a long time or to be rich, and you didn't ask for your enemies to be destroyed. All you wanted was to be honest and fair. The word of the Lord. Thanks to be to God. Our response is, Lord, I love your commands. Lord, Lord I, I love, love your you. command. You, Lord, are my choice, and I will obey you. I would rather obey you than to have a thousand pieces of silver or gold. Lord, Lord your, your commands. commands. Your laws mean more to me than the finest gold. I follow all of your commands, but I hate anyone who leads me astray. Lord, Lord I love your commands. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, we know that God is always at work for the good of everyone who loves him. They are the ones God has chosen for his purpose, and he has always known who his chosen ones would be. He had decided to let them become like his own son, so that his son would be the first of many children. God then accepted the people he had already decided to choose, and he has shared his glory with them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you. Jesus said to his disciples, The kingdom of heaven is like what happens when someone finds treasure hidden in a field and buries it again. A person like that is happy and goes and sells everything in order to buy that field. The kingdom of heaven is like what happens when a shop owner is looking for fine pearls. After finding a very valuable one, the owner goes and sells everything in order to buy that pearl. The gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear children, you all look so marvelous <laughs> in your beautiful dresses and handsome suits. And you look so very happy. Your parents, teachers, and relatives are all smiling with joy for you. And they are so very proud of you. They want to keep the sweet memory of this day by taking your pictures. I've seen some of you started even before and even after the end of the Mass, you'll do it. They also want you to remember this day throughout your life by giving you beautiful gifts like small Bibles, beautiful rosaries, shining prayer books, and other precious gifts. I'm also proud of each of you. Remember, on Tuesday and Wednesday, when you came for the first day of reconciliation, I said, do not be afraid. Take time. Take your time. And this is the reality. I'm proud of you because of what you are going to achieve today. The sacrament of Holy Communion is going to change your life completely. What you are going to experience today, you will never forget. I remember one of my friends, he asked me, Father Daniel, can you share with us something which you still remember even today? I said, the first Holy Communion. I remember I was wearing a white shirt with a black trouser with a nice shoes, and I was sitting with my parents, waiting that moment to receive Jesus. And I was saying every time, come Jesus, come Jesus, because I was so excited. And I hope you are also doing the same thing. Time has come for you to receive Jesus. What I want to encourage you, that this memory you have today, please continue to put in your heart. Wherever you'll be coming and receiving the Holy Communion, it will click back to this day. And I want to encourage you, to come and receive the Holy Communion every time when you come for Mass. But also I want to encourage you, don't forget to come also for the Sacrament of Reconciliation. These two sacraments go together. And for you, I hope the parents are going to support you, to continue to pray for you, so that you may continue to be a good boy, a good girl, and continue to take Jesus wherever you go. When you'll be coming and receiving the Holy Communion, the priest will tell you the body of Christ, and then you'll say, Amen. But at the end of the Mass, the priest or the deacon wish you to go there and proclaim that message you have entrusted by Jesus. He wants you 
to go and do the same thing, to take Jesus to your brothers and sisters. For us today, we want to encourage you that continue to be faithful as you have been showed yourself from the very beginning. Love Jesus and love your brothers and sisters. Listen to your parents. Listen to the elderly. Listen to the people, your brothers and sisters. And remember, they are going to help you, to support you, so that you may grow in faith and grow with love as Jesus wants you to be. We wish you all the best, and may God continue to bless you, and welcome to your new journey to the sacrament of Holy Communion. Amen. Amen. Please stand. I believe in one God. God. The, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty maker of, of heaven and earth, earth of, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnated of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceed from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. With faith, let us now present our petitions to God as we celebrate our first Holy Communion Mass today. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the Holy Church. May it feed us with God's holy word and with the holy bread of the Eucharist, giving us life eternal. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our parents and our siblings, our relatives and our friends, our grandparents and our godparents, that they may enjoy the gift of deep faith and peace in their hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all the children who today, for the first time, will receive the Lord Jesus in Holy Communion. May they love him with all their hearts and forever live life faithfully. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all of us gathered here. May each of us be grateful for the gift of the Eucharist and experience with faith and love this encounter with our Lord Jesus in Holy Communion. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all who are sick and in pain, that they find comfort in our prayers and through the love of Jesus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray. Lord, accept these petitions that with great faith, hope, and love we offer upon your altar as we celebrate First Holy Communion with our children and their families today. We make these prayers in the name of your Son, who is our Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Dear parishioners, Myself and the Ascension staff want to first to thank you for all your support, both spiritually in prayers financially, to help keep the parish going. You help strength our faith community to bring the love of God to all we come in contact. Secondly, this is the time when the collection basket is passed around, which cannot happen in our current situation. For those present after Mass, 
the collection baskets will be located at the center exit doors of the sanctuary. For those watching online, there is a link in the posted song sheet and in the comments section below for your use. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the offerings which we bring from the abundance of your gifts, that through the powerful working of your grace, these most sacred mysteries may sanctify our present way of life and lead us to eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. We thank you, God our Father. You made us to live for you and for each other we can see and speak to one another and become friends and share our joys and sorrows. And so, Father, we gladly thank you with everyone who believes in you, with the saints and the angels. We rejoice and praise you, saying, holy, you are kind to us and to all. For this we thank you. We thank you above all for your Son, Jesus Christ. You sent him into this world because people had turned away from you and no longer loved each other. He opened our eyes and our hearts to understand that we are brothers and sisters and that you are father of us all. He now brings us together to one table and asks us to do what he did. Father, we ask you to bless these gifts of bread and wine by the power of the Holy Spirit and make them holy. Change them for us into the body and blood of Jesus Christ, your son, on the night before he died for us, he had, he had supper for the last time with his disciples. He took bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread and gave it to, the, to his friends, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, 
which will be given up for you. In the same way, he took the chalice of wine, he gave you thanks and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. God, our Father, we remember with you all that Jesus did to save us in this holy sacrifice which he gave us a gift to his church. We remember his death and the resurrection. Father in heaven, accept us together with your beloved Son. He willingly died for us but you raised him to life again. We thank you and say, Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God in the highest. Jesus now lives with you in glory, but he is also here on earth among us. We thank you and say, Glory to God in the highest. One day he will come in glory, and in his kingdom there will be no more suffering, no more tears, no more sadness. We thank you and say, Glory to God in the highest. Father in heaven, you have called us to receive the body and blood of Christ at this table and to be filled with the joy of the Holy Spirit. Through this sacred meal, Give us strength to please you more and more. Lord our God, remember Francis our Pope and Mary our Bishop and all other bishops. Help all who follow Jesus to work for peace and to bring happiness to others. Bring us all at least together with Mary, the mother of God, and Joseph, her spouse, and all the saints to live with you and to be one with Christ in heaven. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from evil, evil. Gracious grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said it to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and gracious grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit, let us offer to one another a sign of Christ's peace, and we ask if you're watching live streaming, if you would please put a note in the chat box.
Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Again, to reiterate what Janet had mentioned earlier, the First Communion children will be coming over to this side. They will be uh, having a picture taken when they receive communion. Once they're finished, then please follow the usher's directions, and I'll be over here. Father will be over here. Thank you. Make sure your mask covers both your nose and your mouth. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the sup of the Lamb. Lord, I am now worthy that you should enter into my room, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
let us pray. Graciously draw near to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Janet, do you have something to say? Oh, yes. That's a big message because without saying congratulations, and I want to add more that uh, congratulations to all my brothers and my sisters. I remember on Tuesday and Wednesday, some were afraid, they don't know what is going to happen. How do you feel now? Great. Okay, congratulations. Thank you. And I want to thank the parents and all the relatives for bringing the children to the church. What we need now is to continue to support them, to give them good example, to come with them every Sunday for the Eucharist celebration so that they may continue to be connected with Jesus when they receive the Holy Communion. Let us pray for them for their journey of life because today is just the beginning. Jesus wants them and he will use them as his instruments to make a difference in their journey of life. Let us make it together as a family. The family which stays together prays together. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. Now bow for the blessing, and in each prayer you just respond, Amen. Lord, give us the wisdom and the courage to help our children as you would do to develop in them as Christ-like love for all people, to nature in them a desire to give, and to teach them to be doers of your holy word. Amen. Amen. Heavenly Father, guide the parents of these children to instill in them your love, to remain steadfast in the love of Christ as a family, so that they may work together in coming closer to you. Amen. Amen. May the parish family of ascension be the expression of your love to these children, so that each day will be as today, your love received and shared to help us to be one in the body of Christ. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.